Hey everybody, Mr. Michael here with your lesson for the week. And what we are going to be doing this week is we are going to be doing some dot painting. Actually dot painting with markers, all right? Because I know not everybody has paints, but I'm pretty sure everyone's got markers or something that they could use for like a marker or something, okay? And we're going to do this to kind of uh, make a replica or replicate the process that the Australian Aborigines, so those first people of Australia, this is a type of painting that they are known for. And we will go over that when we uh, have class. And we'll talk about those people a little bit and their dot paintings. But as you can see here, I have a few examples. These are a few examples from students in the past that I've had, and they left me um, a couple of examples to, to share with you guys. Um, and we can do these in a couple of different ways, all right? now. I guess you could do this on paper, okay? But if we do it on these things that I'm gonna show you, it's gonna work a little better and it's gonna be a little easier, okay? So if we look at this first one here, this is actually done on a paper towel, all right? And let me see if I can find my paper towel over here. Here is one, all right? If you look, you can see it has all those little patterns and stuff kind of built into it already. Okay, and this one, as I'm looking, just happens to be, I think, the same exact paper towel brand. Each brand kind of has their own different sets of patterns and stuff, all right? Well, we can use that pattern to our advantage, okay? So what I mean by that is, if you look, if we put the two side by side, you can kind of see where my student just used the dots and stuff that were already there to kind of help them out with their patterns, okay? Let me show you kind of how they did that. You mind it. And guys, you may want to cut your, your paper towel in half or something, all right? Make it a little bit smaller. Um, but, but yeah, you can make it a little bit smaller or you can just do the whole thing if you're really getting into it, okay? But let's say, let's say, let's start with some red. And what I would do is start over here. And I'll probably, for me, I mean, it depends on you. I'm going to start with these big dots. And I'm just going to put a dot right in there. And you don't have to push very hard, all right? The paper towel really soaks in the, the, the water from the marker, all right? You don't have to push hard. The tip of your marker isn't going to get all flattened and bent up and out of shape, okay? Like if you were doing it, say, on probably regular paper, all right? And I could do that all the way down there, but I'm just going to do a little part of it, all right? I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do that. There we go, all kind of dotted in there. Okay, and I could even kind of go back in now and maybe kind of do my own little thing here about I'm still kind of using these lines and stuff as my uh, as my guide. So I'm gonna come here. There's a bunch of little teeny tiny dots that would be too hard to do with a marker, but I'm still gonna use like that shape in that area. And I'm just gonna fill it in with some more red to give me like a little bit of a thicker red line around there, all right? Now, your paper towels may have a different design, all right? That's kind of the cool thing about this, but they may have one that's similar to mine too, all right? That's looking kind of cool. Now I'm gonna come back in and maybe here, I'll start in the middle and I'm gonna go with some of this bright green color I have. And like, again, there's no real dots here on these lines, all right? So these little super teeny tiny ones, but I can just go in and put dots on the lines there. All right, and use this again, using them as kind of like a guide, like maybe like if I had drawn it out with pencil and I'm going over the, the pencil marks. All right, I'm going in and kind of like what I did with that red, I'm gonna go around and make myself just a little bit of a darker green line in the middle there, or green, green strip there. All right, and I'll come back in there with some, how about some, Oh, you know, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go with some orange here in the middle, just to kind of fill that space in a little bit. There we go. All right. And then on the outside here, I'm gonna go with some blue. Mr. Michael's favorite color combinations, orange and blue. All right, follow that kind of, the contours of that line all the way down. And you can see just how quickly and nicely that paper towel just absorbs 
the color and makes you a nice little dot. You don't have to push hard. Like I said, you won't have to make your marker tips all flat and everything. This one's kind of an odd little shape to it, so I'm going to come in and do that spot there. All right. But now I could go around and start using these dots here again and whatnot, or filling in those spaces or those lines. But in the end, I'd wind up with something kind of like that. All right. And that was just using a paper towel. All right. Another thing you can use is, I mean, you could you, you could use a paper towel because some paper towels don't even have patterns on them. All right, and if you have some of those, I mean, you could just do your own kind of thing on top of it. The main thing is it just kind of absorbs that the the markers really nice. And like I said, it's a lot easier on your markers than normal paper. All right. Another thing you could use is if your parents like coffee, I'm sure you've got some of these things lying around. All right, coffee filters. All right, they're kind of made of almost kind of almost the same material as a paper towel. All right, so they absorb your marker really well. But what I would suggest you do with these is kind of draw in some shapes and stuff. So maybe, let's see, I've got this. I mean, there's kind of a circle there already you can kind of see, all right, but it's not the easiest thing. Something to kind of give you a guide. Find something you can trace. I'm using a circle. Maybe you've got something that's like a square or a triangle or something, all right? But give yourself just some shapes to work with. So I could do that, all right? And then maybe I could come back in with something like a smaller circle. Kind of line it up. Draw myself a circle there. All right. And then I can take a ruler or maybe freehand. All right. Depending on what you want to do. What if I did something just kind of like that? Just to show me where I can put some lines. And then I'll come over here and put one that way. And then one that way. And then maybe over here, like between these, like these wedges that I created, I'll put like a triangle. Again, you don't have to go very dark, just enough to give you an idea of where you're going to put your dots and stuff. All right. They're just guidelines. All right. That's kind of a cool shape to start with. And then, like we did with the paper towel, pick a color to start and start dotting. You kind of want to flatten it out, right, because it keeps wanting to kind of crumple up and sometimes that can be a little bit of a pain, but just kind of flatten it out as you work. That hand kind of flattens it down and now I kind of like to start mine off this way. If I'm doing circles, I'll kind of go down the middle this way. I'll kind of I'll go down the middle that way and then I'll come back in and fill in the little wedges I have left. And look, I just barely have to tap that marker for it to absorb some color. All right, I'm not pushing hard at all. It just pulls the, the, the marker right out of it, right into that surface there. All right, and there we go. And then, let's see, how about this pink color I got here? I'll start working on this one. And probably what I would do here is, first, I'll kind of go around this outside line. Oop, I got kind of close to my circle, but that's okay. And then I'll go around the outside. Try to put, a, I mean, like a little teeny amount of space between your, um, your dots there. Oh, and one thing you want to be careful with, which just kind of happened here, you can kind of see some of that pink is starting to come through a little spot there. That's because it's getting on my workstation here, and then it kind of soaks through the bottom. What you may want to do is like what I was doing here earlier. Put a piece of paper underneath, a little scrap piece of paper. Now it shouldn't be a problem. All right. And just keep going. Like I said, don't make your dots so close that they kind of join together and make one dot. Okay. And now I could do something like this. I could fill it all in with pink or maybe, let's see, I look at my lines here. Maybe I make like a pink line this way and like a pink line this way. All right, and I'm gonna go around and make this one just a little bit thicker on the outside by putting a double row of dots there. All right, you know what, I'm gonna put a double row on this inside part too. So my pink doesn't get lost when I put one more color in the middle there. 
Alright, now I might take something like, how about this darker purple? And I'll go in and I'll put that like on the inside. Again, look, I'm just barely tapping it. And it pulls the marker juice out of the marker and makes it look really good. And again, I don't have to destroy my marker to do it. And there's our cool little um, dot painting coming along there so far. All right. And in the end, you might have something that looks like what this student left me. All right. Now, if you look, this is uh, what well, this, this student did is they, they took the middle and kind of cut, like drew a circle and then cut out the middle and didn't do the rest of that. If you want to use the whole, um, they want to use the whole filter, go for it. If you want to use just a part of it around the, the middle, okay, that'd be fine. Just don't make it too small. Like if I did just that orange part, that would be too small. This is pretty good right there. All right. And then the last thing you could use is, I won't go into a demonstration on this because it would be just the same as what we did with the others, but you could also use a piece of bathroom tissue there. All right. It's got some lines already built into it. All right, again, some lines or some some uh, bathroom tissue has lines in it, some of it doesn't. All right, kind of like the, the coffee filter, just come up with your own design, all right? Or like I said, a lot of it nowadays has their own little patterns and stuff. This one just looks like it has some lines. And then I would just go back and again, just start using my markers. Do I kind of like the way that works even better than the paper towel and the, and the coffee filter, all right? I told you I wasn't going to do an example with this, but you know what? I'm kind of liking the way that's working. I'm going to go and try a little more. Yeah, that worked pretty good. Okay, and then I would just make my cool little design all the way down. All right, my friends. You get what we're doing? If not, if you're not quite sure, please feel free to email me. I'll answer any questions. But yeah, that's what we're going to do some dot painting.